Welcome to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins, and I'm so happy to present my 2022 art calendar featuring my original artwork, most of it from 2021. So in this video, you'll not only find out how to receive this calendar, also some creative ways on how to display it. It is a digital calendar, and I'll go over lots of information that'll help you get yours today. And if you're a patron of mine, you will be receiving this digital calendar for free. So thank you so much. My patrons support this channel and help to keep the free videos coming. And if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications when I upload new videos, and like this video while you're at it. Here is a quick tour through the calendar pages, and I'll take this opportunity to describe a bit more about the calendar and how you can get yours. As I mentioned, it is a digital calendar, which means you will have to print it out, and I will give some options on that very soon. Now, if you are a patron of mine, as I said, you will be getting this free as a downloadable document in one of my posts on my Patreon page. But if you're not a patron of mine, you'll be able to purchase my calendar on my coffee shop. It's a neat website that I use to share some of my printables from my lessons and things like this, this calendar. It's also a place where you can leave a little tip for one of the videos on Monet Cafe, which are always free. And I'll provide the link directly to the calendar and also just to my coffee shop. But basically you're gonna click on that calendar or the link I provide right there where it says digital art calendar. And it will take you to the page where you can purchase the art calendar for $5. Again, it's digital, so you will be getting a digital file once your purchase is complete. And I have provided both a PDF, it's 13 pages, of course there's 12 months in a calendar, but it has a cover page. So a PDF with the 13 pages, and I'm also providing the individual JPEG documents uh, in case you want to separate it like that. Now, I'm gonna share with you some printing options for you in case you don't have a quality printer yourself. You may already have a printing service that you use, but I have found the UPS store allows for document printing. Basically, that means it's on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. There's some places like Walgreens Photo and Walmart Photo that doesn't have this size available. So basically, you scroll down to printing services and then you'll choose print online. And this is a neat way where you can just order it from your home and then pick it up in the store. Then you'll go to copies and quick prints. Next, you will enter in your address zip code so that it'll find a store closest to you. Then you choose the location where you would like to pick it up. And next, you'll choose your size, which is eight and a half by 11, and then click get started. Now you'll come to the screen where you get to add your files. You basically click and go to upload files, and then you're gonna choose the PDF document that will be on your computer from your purchase. Now my upload speed is really slow. I literally sped this up 20 times. <laughs> I live in the country where it's slow. Now you can give it a job name if you want, 2022 art calendar, and basically it's 13 pages. The PDF already knew that, but you're gonna have to change it to color right here. For some reason, by default, it goes to black and white, and of course it is single-sided, and here is where you can choose the paper thickness. Now, it will allow you to choose cardstock, but for some reason, it only highlights it. It doesn't check that little box. It's kind of weird. So uh, I'm going to choose, I already did it, a cardstock option. I'll show you later. But I'm going to choose the 28 pound. It's um, a little thicker than regular paper. And of course, this is all already correct. It's a portrait size. You don't need staples or blank pages. Now we just add it to cart and then you are ready to go. You can click cart in the upper right corner there and I show two items because I wanted to give you the price on both the cardstock one that I mentioned before, it's $10.40 and the one that's a little bit thinner paper, it's $7.54. Then you'll proceed to check out. You can choose to check out as a guest if you like, but I do believe there is a coupon code if you are a first time purchaser on the UPS online store and and you log in or something like that. I think it will automatically give you the option for 15% off. And just so you know, I like to find coupon codes often on a site called retailmenot.com, and that's where I saw they have an option for a 15% off your first order from the UPS store. Now I wanna give you some creative ways to display your calendar. 
I like these very simple tabletop easels that I purchased from Walmart. I think it was like a dollar. It's really not expensive. And here you might be able to see why I recommend cardstock. Of course, print it out on whatever you would like, but when it's on regular paper, it's a little bit flimsy. I mean, it still works, but cardstock is uh, just a little bit more uh, substantial. And here are pages that I printed out on glossy photo paper. I really like a matte finish with printed paintings, especially from pastel artwork, but the glossy is nice too. So that's really just a personal preference. And of course, my studio light is shimmering because of the glossy pages as well. And there's other ways you could display this. Since it's not a bound calendar, I like to use these little clips that are kind of fun and very inexpensive from Walmart. I'm sort of an order freak anyway. I sort of wish I wasn't. I, I have to clean up my studio all the time between each painting. I just don't feel like things are right in the universe unless they're tidy. And it would be so much easier if I, I could just paint with everything messy. Of course, I have a very small studio as well, so it's sort of necessary. So here you see how you can use one or two clips to hold them together, uh, put them on a stand, and you could also put them on a magnet board. I really like this board that I have in my studio. Once again, I'm an order freak, so I love to write down all of the ideas that I have, products I need to purchase, things like that in my studio. And this helps me to keep my brain straight, sort of. I don't know if there's a way to do that. <laughs> but as you can see, this magnet, it's a large magnet. I believe I got that at Ikea. Holds each page of the calendar for whatever month it's in. And if you like this board, it comes in different sizes. I have it on my Amazon shop under Practical Studio Tools. I get asked all the time about different things in my studio, not just pastels and art supplies, but some of the things that I have, like my ring light I use for filming. And uh, so you can find that. I have my Amazon shop link in every video. So if you'd like to check that out. So here you can see how easy it is just to stick it up here on your magnet board and uh, enjoy the paintings each month. So now you've learned how to purchase your calendar, print your calendar, display your calendar, and now I just want to give a big shout out to all of the subscribers here on Monet Cafe. Yay! And also to my patrons who helped me to reach some of my goals for 2021. I love marking things off. You see, I already did it there. My goal was to make at least 50,000 YouTube subscribers and 600 patrons, and that happened because of all of you. 2022, I hope to reach 100,000 YouTube and a thousand patrons. So I'm a goal girl. I can't help it. And here is where I would like to give a big shout of thanks to all of you who helped me reach some of my goals for studio equipment this year. I was able, because of reaching 600 patrons, to be able to get this Shure microphone. My son is in the recording business. He's a professional entertainer. He's amazing with knowing equipment like this. And he was like, Mom, you need a better microphone, along with a lot of you telling me that in my comments. And I knew I did, but this was awesome to be able to get this very high quality quality Shure microphone. And you guys let me know if I know some of my earlier videos, they sounded terrible, but I think my past few videos using this mic have been better. And I also was able to get this lapel mic. This is when I'm standing filming myself basically, and there's an echo from my voice in the studio, so it will help to clear that up. And you can't physically see the third item I purchased to be able to help this channel, but it's the actual camera I'm using right now. It's the iPhone 13 that has a cinematic mode, which really gives a nice cinematic presentation as it just gradually focuses in on one item or another. And I just think it's beautiful. It seems I've shared a lot in what was supposed to be a short presentation, but I wanted to make sure you knew how to purchase the calendar and you could see that because of you, we accomplished our goals in Monet Cafe and we have a beautiful future ahead of us because of my support on YouTube and from my beautiful patrons. God bless you all. I pray 2022 is a year full of love, peace, and artistic beauty. I'm so happy to have our art family here on Monet Cafe. Happy painting.